All right, now that we have our box unfolded, we're going to be just basically drawing on this a little bit. And we'll start out by clicking here on the actual first layer and going over here to layers. So layers window is open. I'll click a new layer and call this base. So I'll click on this right click on it and say move to layer base so now that's on a layer I'll make another layer called arrows alright so what I want to do is draw some arrows here how do you draw an arrow well you can be very loose about the interpretation of drawing in this program right now so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to be using the hand bezier tool. And I'm going to make an arrow. And click, click, hit enter. And then I'm going to go click, click. There we go. And we'll take this and select all of it and go to fill and stroke. And this is also located here. So we'll go to stroke, make it black, and we'll set the pixels up a little bit. And I'm just going to shrink this down and make different color arrows. So I'm going to move this here and hit Control D. Control D makes a duplicate copy. And now this one, I'm just going to make green. Control D. We're going to make this one yellow. Control D. Make this one red. And you can make them any color you want, really. Purple. Blue. All right, so there we go. Now let's put this back into Blender. Let's go File, Save As, and I want to save this as a PNG. And I'll put it right over the top of Cube and replace it. Now I'll go back to Blender. And in here, first I'll highlight my object in case it's unhighlighted. I'll hit L to highlight it. And I'll go Import, Open Image, Image, Open Image. And I'll choose Desktop. Here's the cube. On this side of the street, I'll go N on the keyboard. Go to display. Okay, go to shading. Texture solid. And there we go. We have um, an orientation map, I want to call it. You know, like the which way is up. <laughs> and you can see that all the arrows are practically in reverse of each other. So, in this case, the blue, the red, and the purple are pretty much true to themselves, but these other ones are not. The other ones are upside down. Now, this makes it a little difficult to lay out any kind of real uh, image onto these things because if I went to use it this way, uh, it would be very confusing. So what I want to do is probably orientate all the arrows going up. Okay, in order to do that, I have to go over here and we have to highlight a few things. So I'll click L. Then over here, L. L. 
and I can hit R on the keyboard and R allows me to rotate. And you see that there's numbers at the bottom there. And I'm going to type in negative 180. on the keyboard. And there we go. Now that works out. So in order to make that work over here, I'll grab everything and I'll just flip it. And that includes the base too. And I'll save it as a PNG. I'll go back to Blender and I'll hit reload image. There we go, that's much better. If you move something, just hit undo. So that's how you put the texture back onto the model. And this gives you a good orientation of where things are at in 3D compared to 2D. All right, let's move on to the next video.